Hi everyone, um, my name is Sierra and I have been wanting to do one of these for a while now. I've just been a little hesitant to because it can feel a bit weird to talk in front of a camera if you haven't done it, which I haven't, but I feel like this is important because I know how special and important the testimonial videos were to me in the beginning of my Thrive journey. So I'm hoping that maybe this can do the same for somebody out there watching this right now. Um, I suffered with emetophobia for about 15 years. It progressively got worse and worse as I got older. Um, it got so severe that it controlled my life. I lived in sheer panic every day. Um, couldn't do everyday things, had a hard time working, couldn't go out to eat, couldn't eat food that I didn't prepare, um, couldn't go out drinking with my friends, couldn't go to bars, couldn't go on long car rides. Um, I just really struggled. Um, it got to the point where I believed that I would have rather died than throw up. And um, I know that sounds so dramatic and so catastrophic, but I'm sure it's a thought that a lot of you can relate to. Um, that was my huge wake-up call where I knew that something needed to be done. Um, living in fear and panic and wanting to die just to avoid being sick, that is absolutely no way to live at all. Um, so I had known about the Thrive Program for actually a few years. I attempted going through it on my own in the beginning a few times, but I always ended up quitting before I even made it halfway through. I told myself that this is just who I am, that I'm too severe and I'm too far gone and this program wouldn't work for me because what makes it so different than therapy and medication? Um, so I just gave up. I did watch countless testimonial videos um, for hours. The one that stood out to me the most was Samantha's. Um, I felt like I was watching a video of myself. I remember crying because it felt so amazing to feel understood, especially, especially when this phobia can make you feel so alone. Um, so about a year ago, I ended up going through the program with a consultant and how lucky I was to get Samantha. It felt so surreal knowing that I had watched her video over and over countless times um, crying in tears thinking I could never get to her point of success. Um, but she helped me. She got me there. Um, I truly don't think I could have done this without her. Um, I believe that this program is the best thing out there for people with emetophobia. Um, it's important to know the one thing that I took away from this program was that you are not scared of throwing up. You are not scared of being sick, even though it feels like you are. That was something so hard for me to get through my head, but once I did, Oh, it changed everything. Um, you're not scared of throwing up. You are scared of the panic that you create. You are scared of the immense emotional overreaction that you create. Um, this phobia is something that you create even though it doesn't feel like it. Um, it's not something that's happening to you. Um, it's something that you create and if you created it, you can uncreate it. Um, it's, it's difficult. It's not the easiest thing, but this program, oh my gosh, it walks you through everything. It goes into detail. And if you do all the exercises, if you process your positives, if you put in the work, you will get there. Um, even if you don't get 100% over your emetophobia, you're going to get better. Um, no matter what, you'll get better. Right after the program, I was very, very um, doubtful. Um, that I, I felt like I was just going to go right back to where I was, but I still did all the exercises. I still practiced everything every day. Um, it wasn't until I started to notice little things like my coworkers talking about being sick and, um, my sister being sick right in front of me that I realized, oh, I'm not panicking. Um, and that was huge. Um, then it was actually last week that I got to the point where I was drinking with friends, which was a huge uh, step forward because I was just drinking. Um, that's something I probably wouldn't have done. But I was drinking to the point where I blacked out. Not something I condone. 
not something I'll probably do again because it's not healthy. Um, but the fact that I even got to that point is insane to me because that's something I never would have done with my desire for control. Um, so, but I did, I got to that point and I got home and I dry heaved about 10 times. Um, and it was nothing, absolutely nothing. I did it with no panic with no fear, with no tears. I believe I was actually smiling in between each heave <laughs> because I was so excited and so proud of myself that I was doing it. Um, nothing ever came up, but dry heaving was a huge step because I haven't done anything in like 15 years. Um, so I just, I don't even, that was a huge step forward. Um, and little things like I can eat week old chicken without worrying about it. I can go out to restaurants without a second thought. I can um, go to bars. I can see somebody be sick on the television and not bat an eye. Um, there are just so many things that I could do now that I couldn't before and it's so amazing to me. Um, I cannot thank Rob enough. I can't thank Rob enough for creating this program. Um, this program is amazing. It's absolutely the best thing out there. If you are willing to put in the work, you can get over your emetophobia. I promise you. And even if you don't 100% get over it, you can get pretty dang close to getting over it. Um, if you know what locus of control is, um, I took the quiz in the beginning of the Thrive program and I got a score of 28, which is very, very, very external. Um, at the end of the program, I got a score of eight. Yeah, um, which is very much more <laughs> internal than a 28. Um, I won't say that I don't have blips here and there. I do. I, I still have um, anxious thoughts that will creep in, but I always correct them. I always um, catch them. Um, sometimes I'll hear like a coworker say, oh, I was sick last night, and I'll get a little queasy, but I feel like that's kind of normal. I don't I don't go into sheer panic and ask my boss if I can go home like I would have done in the past. Um, I feel like I just have my life back. I have a grip on my life. I um, quit school in the beginning um, or in the because of my emetophobia. Um, and now I am going back to school to get my bachelor's degree in behavioral science in March. Um, and I'm just so excited for life. I, oh my gosh, it's so freeing. It's such a huge weight taken off. I just see the beauty in life. Um, my positivity is so much better than it was. I was such a negative person and it, is crazy that I was ever so negative. Um, I am so positive now that I see the negativity in others and it drives me insane sometimes. Um, but you know, it's just, life is just amazing. It's beautiful. It's something that should be cherished and not lived in fear and panic. And, um, I just could not thank Rob enough for Korean's program. Thank you, Thrive. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Samantha, for helping me get through it. And if you are contemplating going through the program, do it. It wouldn't hurt. It'll only help. And your, your life can be beautiful, too. Your life can get here. I promise you. I was at the point where I was watching these videos thinking, this is not possible for me. This I couldn't do this. And now I'm here creating a testimonial video, which is so crazy to me. Um, so I'll end it at that. Sorry if this was too long and sorry if I rambled. Um, but thank you, Rob. Thank you, Thrive. Life is amazing. Life is beautiful. You can do it. Thank you.